Here's a tutorial for my arrangement of Say So by Doja Cat. You can get a tab for this on musicnotes.com and that tab will line up with what's in this tutorial. Just before we start the tutorial, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as well so that you get notified when I put up a new video. And if you like the tutorial and you want to learn more from me, check out my True Fire channel, The Fretboard Atlas, where we cover everything that I can possibly teach. This arrangement of Say So is in a drop D tuning and it's the same tonality as the original recording. She sings it in D and so my arrangement in D is in the key of D as well. So we're going to bring the sixth string in standard tuning. We're going to bring the sixth string down to a D, E flat, D, like that. So now we're in drop D tuning. Um, the chords are the same throughout the whole song. So for the verse and the chorus and the outro and everything, it starts off with an E minor 7. Then it goes to, um, it's an E minor 7 over an A in the bass. Like that. You can think of this as an A chord as well. Um, but this is more correctly E minor 7 over A. Uh, then we've got a D major 7. And that's the same uh, the first time around in the verse. Second time around is E minor 7, E minor 7 over A, D major 7, and then finally B suspended down to B, like that. So those are the chords for the entire tune. So you'll recognize this from the intro, E minor 7, E minor 7 over A, D major 7. Same thing again, E minor 7, E minor 7 over A, D major 7. Then you've got B suspended, down to B, like that. That's the real, that part that you hear in it. B suspended, down to B. Um, so those chords go throughout the whole piece. Uh, what's really important with this arrangement is that you get the bass groove right. So the bass always sticks throughout the whole tune to this rhythm. Um, it goes like this. See there, the the notes change, but the rhythm, the the groove behind it is always the same. So the notes specifically there behind E minor seven, as you would imagine, it's an E, three and the E, then a D E, then we've got A over the E minor seven over A chord, then D over the D major seven chord. These are all root notes. E again, then we have that D E. That's really important. A, D, when we go to that B, it's B in the bass, so it's always root notes in the bass, but what's important is that groove stays throughout the entire arrangement. So, now that we've looked at the chords and the bass, let's take a look at the arrangement in detail. So let's get specific about the intro. Um, when I'm playing the intro, I'm trying to emulate the kind of the disco style guitar that's in the original uh, Doja Cat recording. So I'm using my fingers to um, constantly strum up and down, and I'm vamping with my left hand, so I'm muting with my left hand. So my right hand here, or my picking hand, I should say more correctly, is always going like this, up and down. But my left hand, my fretting hand, is the one deciding the groove. So I'm pressing down with my left hand when I want to hear the chord ring out and otherwise I'm using my left hand to mute the strings. This is known as vamping. Um, so to get specific, uh, that chord E minor 7, uh, up here fret by fret starting from the 5th string, that's the 7th uh, fret, 9th fret, 7th fret, 8th fret, 7th fret. Then uh, E minor 7 over A. We've got, uh, going from the open A string, we've got uh, an A, which would be a zero on the tab. Seven, seven, eight, seven. Like that. Like that. Then we've got a D major seven here. So that's from the uh, fifth string again. Fifth fret, seventh fret, sixth fret, seventh fret, and then fifth fret. Like that. 
so E minor 7, E minor 7 over A, D major 7. Um, and that's the whole intro section, just those three chords. And then we go into the... From there. So let's now let take a look at this chorus piece. So now the chorus is built around the same chords and the same chord shapes, but we do have to get a bit more specific because we want to bring out that bass groove and we want to bring out the melody notes as well. An important thing about the melody for this tune, the um, this part. The melody is the top note, the B. B, A, B, A, B, A, 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 B, F sharp, F sharp, E, like that. That's not the melody. That's the harmony line. This is done in fourths. Like that. So you have to be conscious that that B note, that's actually your melody here. So when I'm playing uh, the E minor chord, I'm aiming for B and then A. So I'm not aiming for the melody here at the moment. So I'm kind of pulling into the chord each time I play it. I've got an E minor 7 chord and I'm aiming for that that groove in the bass, so there's the bass groove it's happening there, and that's when I start the melody in fourths. So once I come from that E minor seven, and really be conscious that you're picking out all of these notes. You really want that melody to stand out, and if you depend on hammer-ons and slides and stuff like that, it won't come out as clearly as it could um, if you picked every note. So, um, like that. I'm really getting them all to stand out there by picking them. Okay, one slide there. But that's kind of okay. Um, so then, moving on from there... Uh, Yeah, so we go down to the D chord now, the D major 7 chord. So what's happening here is I'm keeping the melody in fourths. And again, I'm conscious of that bass groove in my thumb. It has to go... That's all on the beat. One, two, three. And then off the beat. So you see there it's kind of... Um, that's on the beat, boom, 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 off the beat. And just a little important thing there, uh, I didn't realize I did this, but I do this. These two notes, I kind of give them a bit of vibrato when I land on them. I really kind of shake them, get them to sing out a little bit more. Then it's a repetition of the same thing. And be really conscious that you're getting that, this D up to E in the bass. Now here's where it changes. That's the kind of the B suspended to B sound that we're listening for. And then we land down to the B like that. So I think in the video I do it this way. So once I get up to that original melody note, the B, I land back down on a B major. Like that. Um, and then we do all of what we've just covered again once more. So once we've done that, it's time then to settle into the uh, the kind of the the verse. Um, you could think of it as a bridge as well, but the verse um, section. One thing I'll explain just before I go into that, you'll notice as well that I've got a backbeat going on. So I've got one, two, three, four. On the two and the four, I've got my thumb coming in on the backbeat. <laughs> So 
So that's just kind of a percussive thing to watch out for. But if you're struggling with that, focus on the rest of the arrangement first and then come back and put the backbeat in. Now the verse section. Um, so this is kind of a little bit more uh, controlled, I suppose, than the, the chorus section. Uh, so we start off with an E minor seven chord. And I, I kind of, I roll through that chord. Pick out the melody notes on top. Up here with my thumb, up to the seventh fret on the sixth string to get an A note. Hold that A. Then we do these harmonics. We've got C sharp, okay, C sharp is on the ninth fret on the A string, like that. We've got B, which is on the twelfth fret on the uh, second string. Then we've got A, which is on the uh, seventh fret of the fourth string. And then finally F sharp, which is on the ninth fret of the sixth string. So putting all of that together, E minor first. Okay, up there like that to the A. That's a C sharp, B, A, F sharp. Ninth fret, twelfth fret, seventh fret, ninth fret, like that. Then we come down here, this is, I suppose, like a D6 chord. So this is, you could think of this as a B minor over D as well, but this is, if you're going fret by fret, you've got a low D, A, uh, then from here you've got the fourth fret with an F sharp, you've got the fourth fret, which is a B, third fret which is a D and then second fret which is an F sharp then down to a D major 7 add 6 so this is a D A F sharp B C sharp and F really nice chord uh, and again fret by fret open string open string fourth fret fourth fret second fret second fret and then I do this Again, keeping that bass groove in there, bum, 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 like that. So I have to keep that in mind. I, I kind of suspend it here, uh, and I bring it back in there. And the melody I'm playing there is F sharp, A, B, F sharp, E, D. So that's fourth fret, second fret, fourth fret, fourth fret, second fret. F sharp, A, B, F sharp, E, D. Same thing again. Only this time we go up uh, in sixth. Like that. So that's, uh, to be specific about that, um, that is, um, where is it here? Yeah, it's an E and a C sharp, D and a B, C sharp and A, A and F sharp. Like that. And then we do this. So this is a D chord. Down to a D major 7 chord. To be specific about that, open string D, open string A. Then we've got 7th fret, 7th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret. So that is then 7th uh, fret, 6th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret. Then up to here. Okay, now this is a tough chord to get. This is your B suspended down to B. So once I play this. So this is, and my guitar is rattling a bit today. Um, this is my thumb on the ninth fret, B here. Uh, we've got then, we skip the fifth string, go on to the fourth fret, or fourth string, ninth fret, third string, ninth fret, uh, second string, 10th fret, and first string, 7th fret. And then, so that second chord, okay, my uh, finger goes down here to the 7th fret on the 6th string, A down to F sharp. Then the change happens here. So once I hit that melody note again, I'm changing the shape here, 9th fret, skip it, 9th fret, 8th fret, okay, this is what gives it the, the B sound. That's a suspended, that's a B, so. So my full chord there that I end up playing is 9th fret, skip it, 9th fret, 8th fret, 10th fret, 7th fret. It's a big fistful of a chord. 
so moving on from there, uh, we've got um, th the next part, which is like. So the way I do this is uh, I get the melody kind of built into the chords that I play. So I've got E minor 7 and B on top, E minor 7 add 4 with an A on top, E minor 11 with an E like this, excuse me, that's an E minor 9 uh, with an E uh, as well. Then I do this. Now this is, this is a complicated piece here. The idea here is we want to keep the bass groove. So in order to achieve that, the way we do it is... So we get D and E down there built into the chord. So, D is on the 5th fret on the 5th string, E is on the 2nd fret on the 4th string, and then we're coming into... So that's kind of built from a G chord, A chord, G chord, D chord, like that. And what I'm doing is I'm keeping my little finger on the G note here. And that still gives it the feeling of an A7 chord. We've got an A and we've got a G. Kind of leads us, our ear to believe that it's going to D, which it is. Uh, so that be specific about that, that's 5th fret, 2nd fret, 4th fret, 3rd fret, A in the bass, 2nd fret on the 3rd and 2nd strings, then this part is tough, we keep our little finger on the G here, this finger on the A, and we do a pull up or kind of a, a slide with this finger, with the 3rd finger. So we have to hold those. And kind of move the note that we hit on the fourth fret, slide it up to the fifth, back down to the fourth, back down to the second. Then, after we play that monstrosity, uh, we then play this. So these chords are like. Um, so this, I suppose, you would call a. Um, like a D6, it's got a 9 in it as well, a D6-9 chord. Back to D major 7, add 6. So in slightly less technical terms, uh, we've got open D, open A, then we've got 4th fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, 5th fret, open D, open A, 4th fret, 4th fret, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, like that. Then we play this. So that's D, it's uh, kind of a quick slide on the E, up to the F and back down, landed on the D. C sharp then on the 3rd string, 6th fret, open B string, A on the 7th fret on the D string, and then finally landing on the F sharp. So all of that together. Don't forget the thumb groove there as much as possible. We still want it to feel like. We still want to try and get as much of that thumb groove in there as we can. It's a little bit difficult to coordinate that, um, but you'll get it with practice. And then we go back up to our E minor again. And that's, that pretty much finishes that, that verse part harmonize that if you want as well. It's all the same. We've just been through all that and then we play this. So that's harmonized. That's the uh, third string, or sorry, the second string and the fourth string together. Fifth fret, up to the sixth, back down to the fifth. Then we've got the fourth fret, uh, fourth fret and third fret together. So it's uh, like an E with a G underneath then half step up, then it's a D with an F sharp underneath. And then the same thing we did at the start, uh, B suspended to B. So coming up here to our F sharp, we play our B suspended chord, so that's 9th fret, skip a string, 9th fret, 9th fret, 10th fret. 
melody is 10 down to 7, up to 10, across to 7. So that's A, F sharp, A, B. And when we hit that C sharp, we play this B7 chord. This is 9th fret, skip it, 9th fret, 8th fret, 10th fret, 9th fret. That's a B7 chord. Back into the intro, or back into the chorus. Finally, uh, for the outro section, I just kind of keep the same groove over the bass chord. Uh, the outro goes like this. That's kind of the fade out of the video. So I'll bring you through it chord by chord. Uh, the first chord, uh, if you're looking at frets, you're looking at second fret, second fret, fifth fret, fourth fret, third fret, second fret. So there's a bar going along the second fret here. This gives us an E minor 9 chord. We've got E, B, G, B, D, and F sharp. And I'm conscious of keeping the groove going here. So my fingers are copying the bass groove in the, um, in the outro. It's going like this. So when the thumb is hitting, the fingers are striking as well. So E minor 9. The next chord then is E minor 7 over A. So if we're getting specific about that, that's A in the bass, open 5th string. We've got G, B, D, and E. 5th fret, 4th fret, 3rd fret, and then open string as well. So... So now we've got D major 9, so that's D, A, F sharp, A, C sharp, and E. Fret by fret, that's an open string, open string, 4th fret, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, open string, like that. Back to E minor 9, E minor 7 over A, D major 9, and then finally up to here. So that's your B suspended. So that's 9th fret, skip it, 9th fret, 9th fret, 7th fret, 7th fret, and then 9th fret, skip it, 9th fret, 8th fret, 7th fret, 7th fret. So that B suspended down to B. I just let that fade out in my arrangement. I think it does in the original as well. Um, and that's the entire arrangement of uh, Say So by Doja Cat. As I said at the beginning, you can get a tab for this on musicnotes.com that lines up with what I'm playing. If you want one-on-one -on -one lessons, I offer those. Or if not, you can look at my teaching platform, the Fretboard Atlas, which is hosted on truefire.com, where we go over anything and everything that I'm able to teach. We cover a lot of different original songs of mine, we cover Irish traditional music, guitar grooves, arranging for the guitar, lots and lots of different kinds of things um, like that on the channel. So if you're interested in that, please do go and check it out. Hope you liked the tutorial, I'll see you again very soon.